trying to show to you guys is the problems I'm having with my backhoe. Uh, it's the main cylinder not really pulling as hard as it should, not really pulling at all. I hate digging out stumps and my back was not working very well. We're going to dig one side and the other side and we're going to dig all around and try and push this thing over towards the uh, burn pile. Let's get the tractor over here and uh, see if we can demonstrate the problems I'm having with my backhoe. This is a Kubota VH77 backhoe. When this boom arm is fully retracted and the lock, which is down here, is engaged, the lock doesn't prevent the boom from actually swinging back, from bouncing. If you were to hit a big bump and the boom were to actually jerk back, so the boom will jerk back and this cylinder will actually hit against the frame down inside of here and it will dent the cylinder has dented the cylinder in my case. I've taken this cylinder off, taken it to a hydraulic shop, had them hone it the best they could without thinning the wall too much, re-put new seals in it, got it back, put it back on, and I made it work for another six, eight months. But my backhoe's been down for quite a while because it's a return to the point where this cylinder won't retract. For some reason I got it in my head that the valve was gonna be the problem. I thought the valve was contributing to the problem because of the symptoms of this cylinder. However, through a great deal of pain and a great deal of tearing apart that valve, which is down inside of here, so these control rods go through some linkages down and there's a big huge spool valve down there. It's a, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, six spool valves. I basically ended up taking that valve out three times now, tearing it completely apart, replacing the O-rings and seals and soft goods and other things inside of there. And I haven't made the problem any better. Not only have I not made the problem better, I've actually found a different problem and I can't tell if it's related or unrelated. So the current problem is this upper cylinder that controls the dipper stick won't retract. This cylinder was working fine before I took the valve apart. So I assumed that me messing with the valve screwed up the cylinder. However, I've since taken the valve apart again which is an absolute nightmare to get out in and take it apart and rebuild. And then there's hydraulic fluid involved. And anybody of you guys that have worked with hydraulic fluid know how terrible that can be. But based on everything that I've shown you guys and a few other things that I've done, I believe the problem to be in the valve. Now, I'm gonna splice some other valve footage in here because I, I went to go make a video about rebuilding that valve. And I decided not to because it wasn't gonna be helpful or I didn't think it would be helpful because I was guessing. But this is more of a, hopefully you guys can leave some comments down below and give me some pointers on what you think I might try or what it might actually be. Uh, maybe, maybe one of you guys does this for a living, who knows. But I could definitely use some help uh, so that I quit wasting time and money trying to diagnose what the problem is. Uh, I assume it's in the valve. I, I leave it to be the valve that controls this cylinder at this point. Nothing else seems to be wrong with the hydraulic system. I do need to replace a bunch of bushings, which I'll get around to later. But I believe it to be the valve uh, that controls the cylinder. I don't particularly want to pull that valve apart again, pull it out of there and, and apart again, just to not find anything wrong with it, which is what I'm going to find right now, because there's nothing wrong with it as far as I can tell. Which basically means I think I'm going to have to wait for some of your guys' comments to come in hopefully get some good pointers. 
So if you know somebody that knows a lot about this, maybe show them the video, see what they think. Or maybe you work at a hydraulic shop and give me a reference, I don't know, something. But as far as hydraulic circuits and systems go on this tractor, on this backhoe, I'm, I'm struggling with this and I could really use some pointers. You were just watching me screw around with the tractor. Uh, one of the lines to my hydraulic cylinders came loose. Um, it's never come loose in the past, but it's very loose now. And uh, I'm gushing hydraulic fluid everywhere. It's sort of a terrible design. I'm gonna get you guys down close so you can see. Uh, so we're looking at the backhoe here, right? There's the backhoe boom. And down underneath, this is the back of the swing cylinder. There's two of them, there's one here and there's one back there. They're connected together via these connections back here. And the bottom one of these down below, you guys can see that. See how clean it looks? It's because it's been doused with hydraulic fluid for the last while. So that joint right there is completely loose. I'm surprised it hasn't come off yet. So we've got to, uh, Get that thing snugged up, which is going to be a pain in the butt. And then, uh, fortunately, I'm going to be done with the tractor for today because I don't have any more hydraulic fluid out here, and I didn't catch it in time to uh, realize that I've actually drained the tank pretty well. So I'm going to uh, hopefully get it loaded back up on the trailer and get it out of here. This was a completely unrelated problem to the actual cylinder problem I was having on the main boom arm. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you were able to help me out. Uh, if not, maybe check out some of these other links. I'll have my tractor series, the house build. And definitely hit that subscribe button. It always helps me out in the long run. Until next time, thanks for watching.